So you like us and you like rays. Let's put it together and make an array. Hey guys, welcome back. That's by Kai. I'm Kai, and today we are back in Blender once again, taking a look at how to use the array modifier in 2.8. It's pretty much the same as any other version, but you guys have been asking me so much about modifiers and things like that. So I figured we'd knock another modifier out of the park since we've done a lot of videos on modifiers before. I'll go ahead and well, I want to use default cube again, so we'll use them for this first example. I'll go to the modifiers tab add in a modifier this modifier will be array right there on the first one you can see pretty much what it does is it just uh, bumps out a, a lot of other duplicates of this of the actual object the original object so we can bump the count up you see we can get extremely long or extremely short the cool thing is that we can change uh, the direction by using this relative offset you can put a one there and we can go diagonally which is pretty cool um, we can get rid of this first one to make it go that way or we can get rid of this and, uh, and put it this way so it goes up, which is pretty cool. If you want it not to be exactly uh, in line with each other, you can go ahead and uh, put that to like 1.1 1 .1 and 1.2. And the further you go, the further they will be spaced from each other, which is also pretty cool. We'll go ahead and turn that back on 1. Um, and uh, it looks pretty good like that. The constant offset is pretty much the same thing as relative, but it's by meters. And it does this really weird thing like this so instead of duplicating pretty much what the difference is relative duplicates the cube and then moves it in exact distance if that makes sense um by you can see the difference here we have uh, we have meters over here and then we have just regular values the constant will be the same no matter where you are obviously constant the constant will be exactly the same no matter where you are so we can do two meters uh, and two meters, up uh, and two meters, and then two meters. So now we have a perfect staircase of um, of of cubes here. When if I were to do two on this side, if I were to do two here and two here, you can see the difference because this is going by uh, this is going by grid values and not and not meter values. You see the difference there. So that's that's a pretty easy way to explain that right there. So. Um, if we wanted to get the same effect with the relative, we would just do 1, 1 instead of 2 by 2. So that's the way we do that right there. If we want to go ahead and hit merge, we can merge all of these at first and then use the distance value, uh, which, which we don't really need to play with. So we can go ahead and hit apply and you can see all of these are, if I were to move them, they're all merged together. Because if we were to undo that, once again, if I, if I weren't, weren't to hit merge and go into edit mode, and I merge this, no, merge this, and then go into edit mode. You can see that each one is not merged. The vertices are not merged together, so they're all individual cubes still. But if we hit that merge feature, they all are connected. So that's the difference. That's what we got right there. Um, this is a really easy way of duplicating a uh, a, a really cool um, hallway or a thing that you need to be over and over and over and over again for instance if you were doing some kind of uh, uh, infinite infinite floor or something this would be a really cool way to do that really easy way to do that you could do that with floorboards with anything i'm gonna go ahead and grab a, a torus here and we'll turn the shading to smooth object shade smooth we'll add this modifier uh array modifier and you can see we have these rings now which looks pretty cool if we were to rotate this um you can see we have some really cool stuff uh, like that. So I want to go ahead and actually let's undo that. Let's rotate it back. Um, I want to duplicate this a couple of times, but I want them to go upwards. So negative one uh, because it's flipped upside down now. Uh, actually, let me flip it the right way. Do that, and then we'll just do regular one. All right, there we go. So now we have this really cool like stack of rings, which looks pretty sweet. Um, and we can also have like this cool like sci-fi ring like staircase I don't know why anyone would do this you could put like glass in the middle of those that would be pretty sweet right if you had glass in the middle of all of those um, those circles so you don't fall through that's actually a pretty cool idea actually I wonder if I wonder if some I wonder if some some movie has has staircase it looks like this I don't know anyway uh, that's a really cool way of doing that like I said you can combine these to get them to go diagonally or up and down or whatever you want to do um, it works really cool and it is really fun to play around with and it does work with uh, everything you can put a modifier on so I can put a modifier on this text and the array modifier will work with text which is super sweetness so that is that I hope you guys enjoyed this to
Ooh, that's so weird, tutorial. Hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, 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 tutorial. <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next one, but until then, bye-bye.